Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on complications of fractures. The complications can be divided into immediate, at the time of fracture, early, during the period of initial treatment, or late, after the period of initial treatment. First, for immediate complications, there is hemorrhage. This may be internal or external. Internal hemorrhage can be considerable at the fracture site, up to 1.5 liter with a fractured femoral shaft. Injury to nerves and vessels. Injury to underlying structures, such as brain damage with skull fractures, splenic rupture with left lower rib fractures, and urethral trauma with pelvic fractures. Second group of complications are the early complications, which can be further divided into local and general complications. Local complications include gangrene due to vessel damage or tight plasters. Nerve palsies from tight plasters are involved in callus. Wound infection or wound dehiscence. Loss of position, tetanus, and gas gangrene whereas general complications are DVT, acute urinary retention, fat embolism, compartment syndrome, and crush syndrome. The third group are late complications, such as delayed union, non-union, malunion, reflex sympathetic osteodystrophy, also called pseudix atrophy, avascular necrosis of bone, myositis ossificans, and osteoarthritis. Let's look at the late complications. For delayed union, fracture does not heal in expected time. Absence of callus and mobility at the fracture are features. For non-union, attempted repair by normal body mechanisms have ceased and the fracture remains ununited. There is persistent mobility of fracture site. Radiographs show no trabeculae across the fracture line. A pseudoarthrosis may result. Causes of non-union include inadequate blood supply, infection, poor immobilization, excessive movement at fracture site, interposition of soft tissue between bone ends, and pathological fracture. For malunion, healing has resulted in a deformed position. There may be shortening, overlap, or angulation. Deformity may put strain on adjacent joints, resulting in osteoarthritis. Next, complex regional pain syndrome. This can be related, or unrelated to a nerve injury. Can follow relatively mild hand trauma. The limb becomes painful, swollen, and stiff. With a reddened, smooth, shiny appearance to skin. The cause is unknown. Another late complication is avascular necrosis of the bone. Part of bone necroses when its blood supply is interrupted by the fracture. Common sites are, the head of the femur and intracapsular fractures, where the retinocular vessels supplying the femoral head are disrupted. Or the proximal part of the scaphoid bone in fractures across the body, where the blood supply enters from the distal end. Myositis ossificans, where there is calcification with subsequent ossification, occurs in a hematoma associated with stripping of the periosteum, and release of osteoblasts into the surrounding muscle and tissue. Most common in injuries around the elbow and those involving quadriceps femoris. And lastly osteoarthritis, which results from misaligned fractures putting strain on joints. Usually occurs after intra-articular fractures. That's all for this video. Thank you.